It is Secret Saturday, Florida Maquis Patreon channel. If you are here, you are at the $5 subscription level. Basic psychological operations training for the future information battlefield. If you don't have these concepts down, you will be powerless against the onslaught of continual psychological manipulation in the media. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are listening to this and going, did he accidentally upload this to YouTube? Well, no. Not accidentally. I thought today what we would do is invite the normal YouTube audience into the Patreon side just to show what we do and the types of things that we train on so that when manipulation happens and it occurs in the media, we can recognize it right away. There are a lot of different topics that we cover, and as you progress up through the levels of secret, top secret, need to know, round table, and masters, the information gets more intense. At the master's level, we actually reveal offensive psychological operations that we're conducting ourselves. White hat, of course, to show people different fallacies in thinking that are occurring. So without any further ado, something popped up on Telesur today, and I thought it would be a great place to launch to do some training on correlation versus causation. We've been talking about this lately, how sometimes you can take two things that look like they're related, and one might cause the other, but it's really not the case. Now, here it talks about Monsanto being um, forced to pay $289 million to this guy in, I think it's California, for his uh, cancer that was caused by some glyphosate that he used when he was at a school. It was uh, It's something to use to kill weeds. But in the sign here, it says, Los transgenicos provocan cancer. Los dolores no se comen. Now, if you didn't know Spanish and you saw los transgenicos provocan cancer, you would almost might think they were saying that transgender people cause cancer. And it's, of course, transgenicos is just their word for what we call GMOs. Now, it is a great place to start training because if someone who didn't understand the language would look at this, they'd go, well, wait a minute. We've seen a lot more transgender people lately, haven't we? And we've also seen an increase in cancer rates as well. So clearly being transgender causes cancer. It's correlation versus causation. You know, the two things have gone up, but they're irrespective of each other. Now, without getting farther into that discussion, there's sometimes a certain false logic that people can create to show something that's even to them a deeper truth, and because they came to it on their own, they're more likely to believe it. And let me show you how this follows. Okay. Now, we know that during the summer, people eat more ice cream. And we also know that during the summer, shark attacks go up. So the false logic would be as thus. Well, people eating ice cream, ice cream is a dairy product, right? And that comes from cows. And we know that great white sharks live a really long time and have. We also know they have an incredible sense of smell. So, I guess what that means is that clearly they're smelling the cow product in the human that's in the water, and that's why they're attacking them because of the dairy that they smell. And since they eat meat, that must mean eating meat is really good for you. And since Alicia Silverstone's a vegan and she's never been attacked by a shark, if you don't want to be attacked by a shark, become a vegan. And if you want to live a long time, eat a lot of dairy products. That's the logic. And I know there's a lot of people out there laughing their ass off right now, but this happens over and over and over again in a thousand different machinations and ways in all sorts of different topics. One of them, and... This one 
is a completely different biases. Here is a report on Argentina. Now, Argentina has uh, bowed the knee to the globalists and the neoliberals, and they have taken the big loans from the IMF, and they are seeing just as much financial hiccup and heartache in their country as would have been seen in Venezuela had the U.S. also sanctioned Argentina at the level they sanctioned Venezuela. But it's the way they talk about this. You see how it says the dollar soars in Argentina and almost hits 30 pesos? Have you ever heard it described in Venezuela as the dollar soaring in Venezuela? No, you've always heard it as the Bolivar crashing. And what this is, is the peso crashing. But it's how they contextualize it. They talk about how uh, strong the dollar is versus because of Argentina has done the bidding of the New World Order. And they've done the bidding of those that we've talked about before, and we're not going to name them. But you can read through here, and it talks about this giant IMF loan that had just temporarily uh, put this off. And over here, I'm not even going to bring up the article. Down in South America, abortion is criminal. In fact, there was a woman that just got done doing, I think, 10 years in prison in El Salvador for having one. And Argentina was really close to overturning that law. But their Senate voted to uh, keep it criminal. Now, you can talk about the, you know, the merits of that or the uh, the bad parts of that. But the point being is that it's a very, very different place with a very, very different set of values. And with limited information, it's very difficult to make a proper judgment about anything when you don't know the whole story. Much like with our shark and the ice cream. And the reason sharks have been around for 400 million years and the reason Alicia Silverstone's a vegan. It's just ridiculous to correlate all of those things together in a way that makes any sense. Now, you can go here to Wiki and go to the list of cognitive biases. And these are the things that we train on. Availability heuristic is a big one. Availability cascade. Tell me what you think this sounds like. The tendency to overestimate, excuse me, a self-reinforcing process in which a collective belief gains more and more plausibility through its increasing repetition in public discourse, or repeat something long enough and it'll become true. Tell a lie enough times and it will become the truth, Joseph Goebbels. Even then they knew how to manipulate people using psychological warfare. The backfire effect, the belief bias, these are the things that we train on. And then we show the media using them to make the mass populace believe something by false associations and things like the decoy effect. Preferences for either option A or B change in favor. It's complicated, but we explain this kind of stuff at a higher level. And we get deep into psychological states that affect our judgment. And this is the very fundamental basis of all psychological operations, taking advantage of psychological weaknesses in targets. And every target has a specific signature of weakness. Each group of people, depending on their background, has one. But it all starts with information. And we've covered this for the last week as well, and how they're attempting to change this story. How they're attempting to make you believe that the attack didn't happen, even though there's a guy who went on TV in Miami and admitted, knowing the exact model of the drone that was used, offered to buy one himself, revealed the plot hatched right here in the United States, a plot that was put forth by a sitting senator, and two secretaries of state, and the last three presidential administrations have had attempts on the leader of this country, whether it was Chavez or him. And still, people buy into the PSYOP that he did it himself somehow to uh, shore up 
support or get rid of his opposition, even though all over YouTube, there are giant marches through the streets of Caracas, and you don't see any Venezuelan authorities anywhere. You don't see any military presence. You don't see any crackdown, any tear gas, nothing. And what do you see? You see hundreds, if not thousands, of people that are clean, well-dressed, and well-fed marching through the streets of Caracas. So much for the starving opposition. And we've covered their leader, the giant Jabba the Hut guy, who clearly is just a bully not getting his way. But that's what we do. Psychological Operations 101. And you can see it in almost any story once you learn to know what to look for. So, anyway, we will leave it there. But uh, Florida Maquis, Patreon channel, if you would like to take part. We have five different levels. Like I said, secret level at $5. Top secret at 10 Need to know special access, 15 Round tables at 20, and then McKee Masters all the way up at 50. And that is where you get the personal one on one with me talking about uh, specific offensive psychological operations being created by the Maquis. So, anyway, we will leave it there. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Thank you.